Matthew here from AnyWarGaming.com, bringing another Dark Potential fundraiser update. We have some concept art to show. So I got some pretty exciting news. The artist who did the corporation stuff, the Reclaimer stuff, and the Zalanto stuff that you had, he was actually going to be working for another company for a couple months, but he decided that he'd rather work for, for us and do more Dark Potential stuff. So I was incredibly excited uh, because he was just getting all the concepts on so well. And so right now he's working on the Zalanthos. And I'm going to show you some concept art in just a moment for that, that he's going and getting that. So the goal is in the next four weeks um, is to get the Xlanthos all done and um, getting ready for sculptors. In fact, hopefully some of the stuff will already be being sculpted by the end of those four weeks. Uh, my goal is basically by the end of next week to have all the Xlanthos concept art done for the starter set. And then we had a poll that said, should we do corporation or reclaimers? And I'm gonna talk about that in a second too. So first off, let's get to the stuff that you wanna see, and that is the concept art for the Xlanthos. So it's interesting, uh, kind of the approach that we've been doing here. First off, I had him do some weapons, just some really basic concepts. Let's, you can see them right here while I talk. And these are some very basic concepts. Like I said, this is just to give us an idea so I can say, okay, I want the trooper to have kind of the plasma weapon like this, and it'll kind of look like that one on the page. And that way I had something I could tell him rather than just try to explain to him. So um, he came up with all these designs and I really like them. And we're not going to use them all. We're probably going to modify them all a lot too. So it's just to give the basic look and feel. A lot of people have been asking, why is everything blue and gray? It's because this is just a concept stage. This is not the color they'll necessarily be. In fact, you could choose whatever color you want. But uh, like the reclaimers being all gray and black and white and the corporation being all that way, that's just because we haven't got to the illustrative part yet. So we're still in the conceptual stage. Anyway, so here's a bunch of different weapons. And then you've already seen the Xlanthos concept art from last week. And so we, I told him a couple things that I liked and basically said, okay, now it's time to develop the commander. I've decided that the starter set for the Xlanthos is going to have one commander who will have a nice plasma rifle and some cool dark energy, dark matter, dark potential, fun grenades or devices that do things. And so I gave him some guidelines based on that. And this is what he came up with, um, which I think there's a lot of different interesting things here. And cameo from Mike <laughs> and Lee. Lee's joining me this time. There we are, okay. Anyway, um, so there's, there, I, I like them all, but there's different aspects of some of them that I liked more than others. And so I said, okay, I like the torso from this one, the weapon from this one, the grenade looking things from this one. And then he sent me this thing really quickly. And this is the next one. And I'm liking where it's going. There's something about it. I, it's funny. It kind of looks a little tyrannity. It looks like almost like a, just the way the legs are, the way the, the torso is and everything. It, I compared it to some Tyranid models to make sure it wasn't too Tyranid-ish. And it's not really. There are some similarities though. So hopefully when we get to the more detailed stage, it won't look too Tyranid-y because they're really nothing like the Tyranids. Um, sure, they're biological weaponry and stuff. That's what the only similarity they have. And maybe that's kind of what's drawing this in. Um, so this is still conceptual stage. This is not the details yet. So, so tell me what you think about these. Um, if you like them or not, what you would change. And once again, always open to to your opinion, and guess what? Your opinion really does count and makes a big difference. Speaking of which, we had a poll. What should the other starter set be? Should it be Corporation or should it be Reclaimers? And it's pretty close. It's like 55% of you decided you liked Corporation to be the first starter set. And I've been actually reading every single reply to that topic. And it seems that the majority of people who want the Corporation either want them because they think that they're closer to being ready, which isn't completely true. They're only a couple days ahead of the Reclaimers. But the other reason is because they more represent what humans would be in the future. Whereas the reclaimers are, are human, but it's more it's too like high-tech human rather than the surviving humans. And although that's not completely true, I can see where you get that idea of just the feel of the faction. Uh, the people who wanted the reclaimers just like the look of them and like the story. They sound like they'd be a lot of fun to play. And also because it's kind of like reclaimers versus Lantho seems to be a good matchup. Um, I've decided to go ahead with Corporation as the next starter set. So the first starter set will be, or the first two starter sets will be Xlanthos and Corporation, whatever we end up calling it. Still working on the name. I, I've, with the contest going, there's been some really good ideas. I like the lore behind a couple of the really good ideas. Uh, the names, none of them are really sticking, but I do like a couple of the logos. So we're, we're pretty close to renaming the Corporation. The thing is, I'm gonna rename it in such a way that it can still be referred to as the Corporation. That'll kind of be its nickname, will be the corporation, because I've grown, grown so used to that, and we've said it so many times 
that uh, I kind of want to go with that. So yeah, so we're, we're, we're close. We're coming in close to the name and I, I am going to have to come up with them pretty soon because that's what we're going to be developing next. So you can expect concept art wise over the next week and a half to see more of this Lanthos. That'll be our main focus. And then once that is done, that'll be sent off to the sculptors and they're ready to get working on the corporation. I'm thinking for the starter set for the corporation, it's going to be a commander and a squad of five guys as usual. And then I think the solo is going to be a sniper in this case. Uh, what did I say what it was going to be for this Lanthos? Yeah, I didn't really, did I? I just stopped with the commander. The commander is what we're working on right now. There'll be a squad of five guys, and then the solo is going to be an assassin kind of character. So it'll be one that cloaks with a, a blade in close combat kind of thing. Just to reinforce the whole Protoss Zealot look or whatever. Or, I guess, any aliens with energy weapons. Anyway, so that those that's my idea before the two starter sets is probably what we're going to go with. And that way you have one that's a, a range solo and the other one's a close combat solo so you can kind of see those and how they work. The corporation grunts, the five guys, um, will have okay ranged weaponry and it'll be, it'll be pretty good in close combat. Whereas the Zlanthos will be more superior ranged combat and they'll suck in close combat most likely. That's probably how I'm going to do it. Don't expect the two starter sets to be perfectly balanced to each other because obviously points costs are going to come into that, but they're both going to have the same number of miniatures, whereas the corporation will probably end up, you'll field more miniatures as the corporation than you would as the Zlanthos. So starter sets won't exactly mesh together. We'll still assign points costs, so maybe if you buy two starter sets or you buy an extra squad, you'll be able to, to figure out the points right there. So that's where we're at right now. I think that's everything. We're almost at, let me see what, what we're at. I think we're just shy of $54,000 right now. Yeah, hold on, it's refreshing. 53968 which is just awesome. Still have 16 more days. Well, that's what it says. I think we only have 15 more days. This is, I think we're at officially the halfway point. Yeah, yeah, we're on day, f I guess we're on day 16 or day 15. Oh, I don't know, I'm losing track. I think it's technically day 16 is what we're on. So we're at the halfway mark that we've already passed the halfway mark for the whole campaign. So it's a lot of fun and lots of exposure. Lots of people are getting excited for this, including myself. And we're also, also making pretty good progress in the forums on talking about dark potential mechanics. Not so much like the, I don't mean like the game rules, but like the mechanics that we'll see in the game. Some cool stuff like gravity well, my, you know, gravi gravity generating mines, or anti-gravity mines, or gravitational fields that reflect things away, um, or some interesting weaponry that comes from manipulating the fundamental forces of the universe. So lots of fun right there. We're getting to fun scientific discussions there to make sure things kind of make sense. It's never going to 100% make sense, but at least to a point where most scientists don't look at that and go, that's impossible. Got to explain it well enough at least. So thank you for your support. Stay tuned for more updates. This is Matthew from Mini Wargaming. Happy